All right, Captain Duck, written and illustrated by Jez Albro. Pretty sure that's how you say his name. That's how I say his name. I've been reading this one for a long, long time. Pop, pop, coughs the spluttering truck. No more fuel left, quacks Duck. It's good I stopped near my friend Goat. He uses fuel in his boat. Duck rap tap taps on Goat's back door, waits a while, then taps once more. Still no answer, so instead he sneaks a peek inside Goat's shed. So that's the shed, and he's looking inside. All right, cries Duck. A stroke of luck, fuel for my thirsty truck. I'll only take a drop or two. Look, there's Frog. Where's he off to? Well, he's off to take a trip on a boat. Hello, calls Sheep. Hop in, says Goat. There's one last thing I need to bring. Now, while I'm gone, don't pull that string, okay? So they check the map and pack the snack, and then suddenly they hear a quack. I don't know if that's a good quack, but that's my quack. Ahoy there, sailors, comes a cry. Is this a boating trip I spy? If there are seas to be explored, make way. Captain Duck's on board. Do you think sheep and frog look happy about this change of events? Or are they waiting for goat? That's the question. They have rather startled faces, I think. Let's get going. What's this thing? No, cries frog. Don't pull that string. The engine roars. Frog gives a shout. Oh no, screams sheep. Frog's fallen out. Well, grab that rope, says duck. I'll steer. Throw it out when we get near. Ready, steady, get set, throw. Catch, yells duck. And here we go. I didn't know frog could water ski. No, bleat sheep. Neither did he. Oh, please, duck, please don't go too far. Goat will wonder where we are. I think you'd better stop it now. I can't, yells duck. I don't know how. Besides, we've only just begun, and Frog is having so much fun. So, Captain Duck steers the boat far away from poor old goat, who finds his can beside a truck. Ha ha, he says, that naughty duck. Well, the little boat bobs on and on until the river banks are gone. Just then, the engine pop, 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 pss, and with a final, <coughs> it stops. The stormy waves begin to swell, and Sheep says, I don't feel too well. Come on, says Duck. We'll row to shore. We can't, gasps Frog. There's just one oar. They huddle in the bobbing boat and snuggle close to Sheep's warm coat. And there, upon the restless deep, three lost friends fall fast asleep. Through the night, hour by hour, Goat keeps lookout from his tower. And then at dawn, through bleary eyes, upon the tide, his boat, he spies. 
sheep calls out, We're sorry, goat. We left you here. We broke your boat. Broken? says goat as duck tries to hide. Oh, no. It just needed fuel inside. That's why I went back. For the can I keep spare, I searched through my shed, but the can wasn't there. Wait, says Frog. Duck was holding a can that was just before our boat trip began. So Duck took the fuel. That's right, says Goat. Now you know why there wasn't enough in the boat. Look, Duck's getting away, Sheep cries. Oh, no, he's not, gloats Goat, with a glint in his eyes. He took the fuel, that silly duck, but forgot to pour it into his truck. The end.